Um, exactly. Like Stefan said, Section 24 seems unfair as far as an over the top business claim they're fine. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You're paying tax on a profit that is not a real profit. No, you're taxing on turnover. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's not fair. That's so, what's the, there's no benefit of having it just 20% of tax well, if when in the limit company you get all of it. I do understand. So, I see this as a um, little bit of a flag. If, if it's even possible, you know, so it's not bankrupting loads of landlords. I mean, it's making life uncomfortable for lots and lots of selling up, which might be part of the side thing. But the fact that it was even, it's a grab that's been put on landlords, and you know, they'll sort of moan about it and say it's unfair, but the fact that it's even possible, just tell you something. It's a load of money you buy today. Otherwise, you couldn't have done it. Mm. If then they said every, I don't know, Lord Grey in the country had this as a book. Yeah, you yeah. can only do this in something that can stand it, and this can stand it. It can actually stand the Section Twenty Four tax reasonably well. I mean, housing is a place for hot potato. You don't want to be making loads of people homeless. But whatever people say, that's a silly policy. Or a, governments make policy very, very deliberately. They run the numbers. The ONS they know exactly what's going to happen. It's, it's, the, all those unintended consequences have been run backwards and forwards in models. They know exactly what's going to happen, totally. and they've said they can stand that, guys. Mm-hmm. Now, if you can get this. Um, into a limited company and take that whole bit out. That's back, back, back to yours yep. to keep. That's how good buy to let is. The yep. fact that the government thought, we can stand that, we can take yeah. it. Other questions? So there's a side comment after that. John, apparently you said you can claim nothing of the mortgage interest, maybe. I think probably what you mean is the 20. Oh, uh, yeah, so essentially, they essentially, say essentially you cannot claim it back, but they'll give you the 20%. Yeah. So you can technically claim it back. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. a different mm-hmm. mechanism. Oh, sorry, I interrupted. Did sorry. you finish that? I'm yeah, just yeah. reading down. Yeah, intercompany yeah. loans, yeah? Yeah, intercompany loans. Do yeah. the limited companies have to be in the same group? Intercompany so loans. So an intercompany loan is nothing to do with the group. That is just Adam Limited, Jess Limited, oh, loaning okay. money. Yeah. And no, it sits on the balance sheet as a debit, uh, debtor and creditor, mm. and they can be indefinite as long as the companies are going concern. So you can, you can lend a company £500,000, and as long as they are both still a going concern, it can sit there. Right. So that's, yeah. A, so group, a group you can move strategically the money around and it's not alone because it goes up yeah. to the parent and then it's. It's like down. moving your own money in your own personal bank account to your own savings account, yeah. and that sort of thing, that group mm-hmm. structure. But the yeah. intercompany one is a really useful one. So I was talking about sending invoices over if you want to get it there permanently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can, yeah. You've got one company, your trading company, and you've got your. Um, Property, property company over there, nothing to do with each other, mm. not a group. You can just send the money. Yeah. It's yeah. like the director's loan account, it's the intercompany account. Send it back whenever you want. Yeah, yeah. You can do, do both of those two. There's yeah. no reason that it has to be one or the other. Yeah. Um, Another great question there from Stefan, right? So, does moving a property into a partnership from your own name affect the mortgage? Because obviously, the mortgage is in your own yes, name you need to when you're moving it. So, can you do it without having to remortgage? All of the banks are different and you need very specific advice for your mortgages. <clears throat> That's so why it's a your very accountant specialist. Will always tell you to go and tell the bank this is what yeah. you're doing. And some banks okay. are okay with certain things, some banks are not. Yeah. It's like having a permission to let on a residential mortgage yeah. sort of thing, isn't it? You have to go and ask the bank if you're changing your circumstances. It changed last month. Just if I'm I'm aware, I happen to know that um, it changed last month and the banks are there's five or six banks that are really into this. And um, they're not the high street banks, they're what you call a challenger bank. And uh, the comment that I got from um, a couple of people last week, it's almost like they've got a WhatsApp group between them. <laughs> the wording coming out on statements from BDMs, business development managers, to brokers is identical. It's like, why does it come from the same place? Mm. It's not a problem, but you do need to be aware of it. Part of our power team is, but well, that's where our information came from. I, I'm not going to say any more than that for obvious reasons. Mm. But the answer is, um, it does affect things, not, on, if you go down that route, that's fine. If you go down that route, mm, that's not fine. So make sure you pick the right route, get all the right advice. We've said a lot of things, get the right advice, which of course you understand why. <laughs>